What is that? It's so fair, hard. It's fairly evil. Hi, how you doing? It's Mike Falco's Flips. Today we're going to hit a load of charity shops and we're going to see what we can find to flip for a profit on eBay. Let's go. So they had all these glasses for 50p each, they had a nice number 18 so I could do three sets of six, multiple listing and yeah I'm not completely sure how much these go for but I've seen people sell them before, I know they go for good money when you're only paying 50p each then they're definitely worthwhile. We've got these two here, these are Peter Fagan, um, some of this stuff does okay, sits for a while, just sold one recently actually, a Christmas themed one. These two are only 50p each, so worthwhile at that price. Wouldn't go spending much on them. Uh, this is a Sadler teapot. Uh, this particular design I really like. Had pots, um, like storage jars of this before, and they've done okay. Uh, this is not going to be worth a crazy amount of money, even though it is you know, proper vintage and really good condition. Three pounds, probably around 20. And then I, somebody on YouTube said to go back for this. Um, I remember now why I didn't pick it up first time around very scratched very scratched and missing its front cover and manual uh, but for 250 I'm still gonna give it, give it a go because it can go up to 40 if it's been tested in good condition so if I stick it up at like I don't know 15 quid then the untested very scratched condition probably somebody will buy it I would imagine for that so a little profit in that and then just this to go with the next guitar hero guitar just quickly drop this stuff off home because my boot was like half full and we're not far from home here so i got this as well winnie the pooh um not even sure i think it's a sewing box i think it is yeah pretty sure it's a sewing box three quid which is all right it's vintage 1980 and not going to see that but right here it says Made in Great Britain, 1980. So, yeah, I don't know. Really don't know how much money is in this, but for three pounds, it's obviously gonna be worth something. So we just stopped at this one here. Claire's just nipping into this one. So I am staying with the kids. Yeah, so Claire has found this, check this out. That's quite nice, boxed, brand new. Coaster and mug set. Quite nice on that, two quid. Oh my God, look at them. They are awesome. How much are they? 125, bargain. Absolute bargain. Oh my, how are we gonna sell these? I wanna keep them. Can we keep them? No. Well done, Claire. Sorry, that's so patronizing. <laughs> right, we're in Cleveland's now. It's been a good few weeks since I've been in here at the charity shops, at least a month actually. So it'd be nice to go back in here, have a look, see what we can find. What is that? What is it? It's a horn that's meta spider. But I don't even know. It's, it's, it's a horn. Fairly, it's fairly evil.
so we did okay in there Got a bit of vintage tupperware on the way out some glasses a dance mat nothing spectacular but you know the bread and butter items that keep it all going so it's a bit later on now let's have a look at everything we picked up today we'll start over here with these glasses these are pretty good these go for about 12 or 13 pounds each on ebay we'll probably sell them as a set of two they're one pound 25 each one pound 25 so pretty you know 20 25 quid on them pretty good nice little profit on them they're really nice might have to keep these ones but we will see if we sell them 20 25 quid now this here not sure if i got this on film or not um i don't i was going to pay I don't tend to keep recording when I'm paying. I turn it off beforehand, but she was at the counter and she actually said to me, do you know how much this is worth? And I was like, not really. This is not my kind of thing. I don't usually pick up, you know, uh, modems and whatever this is. Um, not really my kind of thing, but um, she said, well, what do you think about three quid? And I was like, if you want, I'll give you a fiver for it. I'm pretty sure it'll be, it'll be worth that. So, that is what I did. So I took it and it is worth about 20 to 25 pounds. I'm not sure if it's new or not. I, d I don't think it is, but it might be. I need to open it fully and have a look. Here we have a CD storage case. This is one big one um, with four drawers, four pounds 50, good condition. These should go for, I've got a couple at the moment, which are just like two stories, two sections and i think i've got them up at about 25 30 each um this will probably go for about maybe 50 that might be pushing it a bit i'm not sure i'll have to have a look I'm not sure if these larger ones are as sought after as the smaller ones uh, maybe they're more sought after I, I don't know i don't come across them as often but 450 we're definitely going to make a good little profit on that uh, it's not that heavy it's probably be just over two kilograms so it'll fall into the two to five kilograms with Hermes. Uh, these two items here were from a table outside of a charity shop. It's where they basically put all the kind of, you know, random bits that are obviously not selling inside the shop. They stick them out front and they say, you know, make a donation. So I did that with this and this. This is just an avocado keeper. Um, I've had this brand before, this exact one before. They don't go for a lot, six or seven pounds, I think. And then this rock rock band game, I think that's only worth about four or five pounds, but I will put it with the next rock band guitar I get if I get one. I, I don't get the rock band guitars very often. I don't see them very often, unlike the Guitar Hero guitars, which I do get quite often. Uh, this here is a cup of mug set, nice little Christmas gift for somebody. It was two pounds, which I think is just about worth it. Uh, I've not looked it up, but you know we should be looking at maybe ten pounds plus postage, something like that. Still brand new in its box. A little bit of box damage, but that's fine. Here we've got some Tupperware, 50p each. I was actually on my way out of a shop and saw them outside in, in all together, 50p each. So I thought, yeah, I'll be having them. And so that's 150. I'm not sure how much to go for, but uh, we will see. Tupperware always does reasonably well. Um, you know, as long as you're picking it up cheap enough, 50p each, you're always going to make a bit of a profit on it. Uh, here is a jigsaw puzzle, brand new sealed, like a dinosaur one, kids one. Uh, that was £3 and a couple of sold listings for about £14, £15. So, you know, £10, £10 profit in that. Down here we have a Saddler teapot. Uh, this is alright, it's okay. Um, I don't tend to pick up teapots very often if it's just by itself. But I really like this design. I've had this design before. It was £3. Probably about 20 quid, I reckon. Maybe a little bit more. I'll have to have a good look into it and we'll see. Um, here, these are Peter Fagan little ceramic um, ornaments. Uh, two of the same. They are okay. Like... You know, don't I wouldn't like pick up a load of them unless they're really cheap. Uh, they do take a while to sell, but they do sell, always sell eventually. And as long as they're not damaged as well, always be careful with these. This type of like ceramics like this, they 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 really you know 
bits like this could easily be broken off like the corners and stuff and it would be very easy to miss it very easy so just take care if you do pick these up but there's always a signature on them let me see if i can find it on this one yeah so i don't know if you can make it out but it says it just there on this book it says i get p fagan 84 1984 so yeah look out for them they're okay there are a couple of rarer ones out there I've never come across one that's particularly rare. I've just sold one though for a few quid on eBay, not a lot, seven, seven or eight pounds, I think, a Christmas one. But again, I wouldn't have paid much for it. I know not to spend more than like a pound or so on, on these. Next is this Manatee mug, nice green color, good weight to it, made in the USA, it says just there. 50p from the tip shop, I'm sure we can make a little bit of money on that. Very, uh, very unique. Here we have two little Lego sets. These are three quid each. Uh, one of them is worth about eight pounds. One of them is only worth about three pounds. Um, I'm not sure if we'll resell these. My son kind of, you know, saw them and wanted them and then doesn't, he's not really bothered now. So yeah, don't know. Might keep them, might sell them. Uh, here we have a utensils part. It's a clover leaf one. Country Fruits, Cloverleaf, what's that? Is that Price Kensington? I think it is. Not 100%, but really good condition. I do quite well with these utensil pots of various types. I mean, I don't pick all of them up, but if they're vintage and the design is half decent and it's cheap enough, obviously, this was two quid. And I pick them up, they always seem to go for at least 10. And if you're lucky, they, quite, they can go for quite a bit more. Here we have a Stella Artois glass. We've got loads of these. I got six, uh, 12, 18, three sets of six. That's how I'm going to list them on eBay. Uh, not a crazy amount of money in them. They go for about five or each, like new. These are not new. So, you know, just about worth it. But um, I can't say I've picked these up before. I've seen other people pick them up. So when I saw them, I was like, yeah, I'll give them a go. And behind that is this Winnie the Pooh sewing kit. Good condition, needs a little bit of a clean. Um, I can only find one of these out there and they're only asking for about 20 quid for it plus postage. So, you know, not a huge amount of money in it, but it is vintage, 1980, I think it was, made in Great Britain. Uh, behind there is a, is it Tatty Teddy? Is that what they're called? Um, it's like got a tiger kind of costume on. It's a limited edition one. It's still got its box. The box is a little bit rough around the edges. Uh, these seem to sell okay, this particular one. I don't tend to pick up like the Tatty Teddy stuff in general. Not a lot of it really goes for much from what I've seen from the stuff I've looked at before. Uh, but this particular one, two quid. Um, couldn't find anybody with a box, but found people saying that it was new. Uh, no box though for like 15 to 20. And the last few bits here, we've got a dance mat. That was only £1.50. I recently picked up a PlayStation 2. I've actually got, I think, two or three dance mats randomly already that I need to hook up to the PlayStation 2 when I test it. I thought I may as well make it another one. Why not? Uh, as I bought this, 150 still boxed. Um, there's not a huge amount of money in dance mats from what I've seen, but... For when it's £1.50 and it's from a charity shop, it doesn't work. I can potentially take it back. Not that I'd probably bother for £1.50, but definitely worth a try. Uh, here is a nice little Fisher Price vintage toy, £1.50. Uh, they're very hit and miss, these kind of old toys, I find. Sometimes you, you know, they're quite sought after, sometimes they are not at all, even if it's you know the most vintage looking thing in the world sometimes they just don't go uh, this is a let's see is there a date on this made in the usa not to say there we go 1978 so doesn't necessarily mean it's worth a lot but couldn't leave this one behind nice little nice little thing Couple of things down here that I nearly missed. Uh, somebody told me about this game here, Rescue Shot. 
Um, he said, you've got to go back and get it. It's worth about 40 quid. Well, yeah, it's, it's worth that if you've got it in great condition with its manual and everything. This is missing its cover, missing its manual, and it's very, very scratched. But I figured 250 I'm going to buy it anyway. I reckon I will either keep it until I get a disc repairing machine and then try and repair it and do that, or I will just sell it as is obviously declare all the scratches and maybe just get 10 or 15 quid for it maybe so yeah just about worth it thanks to the person who mentioned this and then a guitar hero 5 just to go with the next guitar that i get and here we have some glasses these are in their box uh i thought they were luminar when i first saw them but they're not there's some italian brand but they're only two pounds fifty uh they will go okay these kind of glasses do okay uh, they don't sell crazy fast, but they always do sell, and for enough money to make it worthwhile. And um, here we have a My Little Pony. This is an original 1984. Is that original if it's 1984? I think it is. Or did they did they do a few before that? Is this like the first generation? I don't know. I'm not an expert, but I do see My Little Ponies all the time. I always check them. I know kind of what i'm looking for i know that you know it's going to be it's going to have the brand and the date on on the underneath the foot uh, and this one does it says yep yeah, hasbro 1984 so last two items first we got this this is an aa promotional thing a bit like the aa dog that i got if anybody's not seen that video go and check it out i did a little video about this dog which i got free as a promotional thing and then sold it for 280 pounds plus postage go and check that out it's just a little short video so yeah, this guy's not worth anything like the AA dog. He's probably only going to go for about 15 quid, thereabouts. A few people are asking a lot more than that, like 40 quid. But I don't, I don't, you know, the sold listings, one went for about six and one went for about 15. So that's what I'll go for, about 15, maybe a little bit more. It's in pretty good condition. It needs a little bit of a, you know, like a wipe down. But uh, yeah, I never knew this guy existed at all. So yeah, I wonder how many more like this there are out there. I guess these from like a TV advert. And then the last pickup, my favorite is this. And the condition of the box here is really, really good. Really good to the point where I was just like, I had to check the check the date on it because I thought this the condition of the box is just too good for it to be like a proper vintage 80s one. Uh, but it is 1986, I think it is. This came out. And yeah, yeah. This is another one where I'm going to just struggle to sell it. Not because it's not worth decent money because it is. But I really want to kind of keep it. Just I just want the I just want the box. I don't care about the game or playing it. <laughs> just just look at the box. Yeah, nine pounds fifty. Obviously paying up. You know, it's the kind of game you could find in most charity shops, probably for two or three quid. But there you go. It's still worth fairly decent money, like thirty quid if it's complete thereabouts. So you know, we're not going to make. A huge amount of money on it but i could not pass this up hopefully if i've got round to it i'm showing you a bit of b-roll footage now of the actual game once it's open and out don't really have the room to do it right here right now so that's it i'm pretty happy with that hit a few charity shops today that i've not been to in quite a while didn't get to as many as i would have liked time was running out there were a few more that i've, I've not been to now for like maybe six or eight weeks. Definitely need to get back to them. But I'm sure I will be now the car boot sales, you know, are kind of on the way out. How's everyone doing out there? How are you? How have your sales been? Has your fourth quarter kind of started as it usually would? Has it been, you know, busier than usual, slower than usual? Let me know. I'm hearing all sorts of things out there. Generally slow for most people, but a couple of people saying, you know, they've, they've done really well. I've been hitting the listings like crazy, like we've been getting through loads of stuff and trying to get to that 1,000 listings, keep listing, listing, 
and people keep buying and buying and it keeps going like up down up down up down but we're very very close to that 1000 listings right now so that will happen soon and then it'll be a mission i guess to kind of keep it above a thousand listings